Hello, welcome back to another Faith Connections video. I hope you're having a great week. Just this last Sunday, Pastor Kirk mentioned at the close that the staff here were actually leaving for a leadership conference uh, for this next week. And we're taking a couple extra days so that we can plan and scheme for the future of Faith Church as well. And so I'm just asking in this video, keep us in your prayers. We would love that. We'd love that you would be praying for us as we're on this retreat, that we would just continue to be in step with what Jesus wants for Faith Church. Um, but I want to continue a video uh, on the faith or on the connections that we have with others. I was just reading this morning in a devotional, and I really love this devotional. It's from the book. Originally, it's from the book Emotionally Healthy Spirituality, but there's a devotional that goes along with it. I think I've read some things from it before, but I really like it. It's called Day by Day. And uh, there's a quote in here that I read this morning uh, by Eugene Peterson, and as a follow-up with a question. So I wanted to read that for you today. It's dealing around pain and grief. This quote says, Pain isn't the worst thing. Being hated isn't the worst thing. Being separated from the one you love isn't the worst thing. Death isn't the worst thing. The worst thing is failing to deal with reality and becoming disconnected from what is actual. The worst thing is trivializing the honorable desecrating the sacred. What I do with my grief affects the way you handle your grief. Together we form a community that deals with death and other loss in the context of God's sovereignty, which is expressed finally in resurrection. We don't become mature human beings by getting lucky or cleverly circumventing loss, certainly not by avoidance and distraction. Learn to lament Learn this le lamentation. We're mortals after all. We and everyone around are scheduled for death, mortis. Get used to it. Take up your cross. It prepares us and those around us for resurrection. So here's the question I want you to ponder for this week or take some time with. What might it mean for you to mature by entering the painful reality of your losses rather than avoiding them? Let me read that question one more time. What might it mean for you to mature by entering the painful reality of your losses rather than avoiding them? Might be, that might bring up a lot of stuff. I don't know where you're at. I'm facing um, some grief in my life right now. We just dropped off our youngest uh, for college. And there's like these two worlds that come together in that dropping off. One, we're super excited for Abby to take this next step, to continue her journey, to find a career. Uh, we're just excited for her to get connected at this college, but we're also having this great sense of loss, her presence at home. Uh, it's affecting us in two different realities, and it's okay. Typically, I avoid that at all cost. But what would it look like for me to sit in this to really see what God brings through resurrection? And ultimately, that connects to others, how we sit in and actually deal with reality. I hope you have a great rest of the week. Go in grace and peace.